folks, Gareth here, and I'm having a look at this. Ooh, it's got a T9 keyboard on it. This is the Arcos F24 Power. It's got one little feature in it that's going to make you go, oh, that's an interesting idea. It's got a 2.4 inch screen. It's got a dual SIM setup. It's got a two megapixel camera. It's been a while since I've seen those numbers written. And it's got a micro SD card slot. All right. Around here, you can use your phone as a charger. Charge your USB devices anywhere you go. So you can charge your iPhone from this phone, you know, because you might have both. Let's make a pretty good wee work phone, I suppose. They retail for about, I think it's 25 pounds out of Sainsbury's. Yeah, it's uh, 25 pounds just to pick it up. Rechargeable battery, the 240 by 320 screen, dual SIM, 2 megapixel camera, a micro SD, MP3 player, Bluetooth, and a torch LED. And I'm quite looking forward to seeing this because it looks like a bit of a novel way to do it. Dual LED torch. All right, well, let's, let's dig in and see what the goodies are like. There's the device right on the top. It's huge, isn't it? And it's open. All right, well, we'll have a look at that later. Inside we have a UK charge adapter, fairly standard, a set of rather gnarly headphones with an inline microphone and control. Looks to be a small speaker in it as well. Or oh, that's probably the microphone grid. And then USB to micro USB. This is a wonderful poster for you to put up on your wall with all kinds of different languages to explore the world. Who needs an atlas when you've got an Arcos manual? This is the Arcos warranty. Huge. But it comes in multiple different languages. And then of course there is the Arcos technical assistance which you might well need with this device. Because they're so uber complicated. Right, the device itself is obviously open because the last person to use it or review it hasn't put it back together again properly. All right, well, firing down here, we have a display over this just to show those features again. We'll pull that away because it actually looks really nice. That's a big screen, big screen. And then a couple of buttons here. Those are obviously menu buttons and then make call and end call. There's a button here for the torch and then a D-pad. Then of course your standard T9 keypad with fairly small buttons. Well, they're, they're quite big, I suppose, long ways. They're, they're big enough for your thumb to actually hit. A T9 keyboard, there is no excuse for getting them wrong because we've done them so many times in the past. It would only be that we've forgotten how to do them. But uh, this, see, Yeah, it, it, you might get a wee bit of overlap if you start using your thumb sideways, which you, you might tend to do as you, you plug away at it like this. But the, the grooves are deep enough that you know where your thumb stands, so you shouldn't have any problems with those. On the back, sort of a, a grill type feature. And then there's a speaker here and then the camera there. Sticking a better camera in would have been a killer idea just to give it that one bump up of a feature. I suppose for £25. No, you could even put a 5 megapixel in there. They're fairly decent these days. Down the bottom here we have a USB. It's a full size USB for charging another device. A 3.5mm headphone jack and a micro USB. It doesn't say on the box. The only thing I can glean from the box is that the uh, the internal storage is one gigabyte, but I'm hoping the battery might tell me because it's huge. Otherwise, that uh, it's got a four thousand milliamp hour battery. Okay, <laughs> that's a bit of a killer feature. Then this thing's going to run for days. Yeah, and then obviously charge your iPhone or personal phone from it. In the back here, we have space for a micro SD card and two full-size sims. That might be a problem, actually. I don't have any full-size sims. 
don't think I have any fossils. I'll have to dig around and see if I can find one. But yeah, that's a, that's a big battery. But then again, it's a big device. This is a, for £25, it is a, a big uh, mobile phone. Where's the on button? These don't indicate whether they can be pressed to turn it on. Looking at the keyboard here, there's a bit of a strange button here. Actually, I can notice the microphone hole there. But turning it on isn't that easy. All right, we'll try the torch button. Okay, so it's holding in the call down button. It, it should really have an indicator to say this is the on-off button, but holding that in turns it on. And it's asking me to, oh, short boot time, isn't that amazing? To insert sims. And it's, uh, it's quite a nice screen. It really is quite pretty. Names, messages, audio player, right SMS, profiles, alarm, calculator, Bluetooth, sound recorder, ebook reader, which is always necessary with a small screen like this. And then straight to your contacts list. And we turn those torch lights on. It says torch on. And you can find your keys. Not the brightest torch in the world. Any stretch of imagination, but uh, still a really useful little feature to have. Torch off. Obviously, it's not a touch screen. There's the camera. I'll take a picture of the box. Okay, and we'll see if we can send those off these to another device, probably by Bluetooth or something like that. It would be great if we could get a bit of information about the actual device to see what it's running. If It, it must just be an in-house operating system. It does look a little like Symbian used to, but here we have options where we can add or delete some of these shortcuts. That seems to be a shortcut to the camera. That's a shortcut to the audio player. Sorry, I'm working my way through and run the D-pad. Pressing up takes you to the camera. Pressing down takes you to the audio player. Left is right new message. And right is for profiles. Aha. So while I'm pressing the center button on here, brings the torch up, but one quick press brings up an old-fashioned menu Oops. where we have the phone book, call history, an organizer with a Z. Oh, that, that down arrow is quite a pain to hit. File manager, messages, multimedia player, profiles, recharge mode. So we actually have to stick it into that, I'm guessing, too. Uh, yes, you have to turn it on. Uh, camera, settings, app zone, and services. So the app zone we can get f uh, games, Google, Facebook, Twitter, auto, rec auto call record, very handy feature that actually, mobile tracker. Uh. Ah, that's a point, there's no Wi-Fi on this. So that's your 12 options there. Then in settings, we'll go to software info, info and it says software version Arcos F24 version 05. Network settings, obviously it's not going to find any. It's got GPRS, data roaming. G GPRS, that's it. 
connection needed. Well, we'll, we'll find a, uh, a SIM card and get it in and see what this can actually do. I doubt it's going to have 4G built into it. It would have had that bragged all over the box. Display, wallpaper, screensaver, contrast, brightness, all that kind of cack. Phone settings, date and time, language, dedicated keys, auto power off and on, and power saving mode, then factory reset, and then call settings, dual SIM settings, call divert, call waiting, call barring, and advanced settings. So there is a, there's a decent amount to the phone, I guess, uh, and it's quite refreshing to have just an old-fashioned phone like this being released today and there, there must be some need otherwise Arcos wouldn't bother putting this out and they've thrown in a couple of extra features that really make this work here worth your while the battery is a killer feature that this keeps going whenever you need it to keep going and obviously you need the battery to be able to power this torch I'm interested to see how long the torch will last if the battery's on but there there are LEDs in there so it, it should be quite some considerable amount of time Torches are becoming easier and easier to find these days. Every device seems to be putting them in, and this one's no uh, no different. The recharge capability for another device, we'll have to delve into that and see what exactly it can charge from it. If this is a, a higher capacity, can it do an iPad, or is it solely for a phone or an iPod, or, or what have you, like a, a handheld device? So that's the, the Arcos F24 Power in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.